In this video, we will use AI to clean up messy Power Query code. And to be more precise, we're going to look at how we can consolidate repeated steps, like renaming, filtering, and changing types. And with that, we're going to have a cleaner query, because with fewer steps, your code is cleaner, but the output will be exactly the same. Let's find out. So we're looking at a query here that I specifically set up so I can show you what AI can do to clean up your query. What does that mean? The query starts out with a source step. This source step starts to create our data set. It then follows with a lot of different steps that could actually be consolidated. But while working on queries, it's very easy to just click on a button and each of these buttons will just create some code, which in the end might take you some time to put together again, if you even know that they could be. Let me show you some of these examples. So I'm renaming a column right here. But I'm also doing that later on there. That's happening over here. So those are already three steps where I'm like, that could have been a single step. But if I put that in a single step at the top, it might be that other calculations make use of that name and that they will break. So it's risky. The changing types at the top here, that also happens a few times. I do that right here. I also do it, um, let's see, I think it's this one. I think it's, and it's happening a third time right there. So that could also be if you don't use a specific data type for your transformation uh, and you have a dependency on what type it was before, we might be able to merge those two. Here's another one. We're uppercasing the name of the full name column here, and that uses table transform columns. Now table transform columns can perform a single transformation, but it can also perform multiple. So I added a prefix here, which is also table transform columns. And later on, I also rounded off some numbers. So these are also a potential to be combined. Now, what else? I'm sorting some rows here. And the sorting of the rows does not impact any of our calculations. But later on, I sort the rows again in a different order. So what that means is I have a superfluous step here. I would not need this one. Now, what else do I have? I'm also removing columns here, removing columns there, and removing columns finally here. Well, since we're doing that, we can either have a table select column statement, or we can combine all of these removing column steps to reduce the number of steps we have. Okay, so that's that's where we're starting out with. How The big question now is, how can AI help us to reduce this query? Well, I'm going to be honest, you're going to have to be very specific with your prompt but I have one available. Now let's see how AI can help us with this. So to do that, I'm first gonna have to go to ChatGPT and in ChatGPT, I'm gonna paste the prompt that I have here. And that prompt is very long. The prompt specifies, I want you to rewrite the output so it's identical, but uses the fewest steps as possible. But I also want to know, uh, I wanted to know which of the steps can be combined. So I'm very specific here with what they need to do. Finally, I need to provide the query that we have here. So I can go to advanced editor, copy the values, paste it in the bottom. And if I now press OK, ChatGPT is going to try its best to return the output. Let's find out. Then go into Power Query here and see if I create a blank query. I can paste it in the advanced editor and press OK. What you're going to find is the previous query had a load of steps. The new one has a lot few, like like fewer steps. If we look, for example, at this step here, we now see that all of the rename operations happen at the same time. Even at the change type step, it's all here. And transform columns combines all these three together. Well, these haven't changed at all. We have a, a, an order date that has been removed, split descriptions, and also the filtering of the rows is now multiple conditions in a single line. And then I can see that two more columns are removed. So what is my critique? In this example, we could have had this removed uh, order date together with these remove one. And then finally, we have a single sort table result here. So that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. It's not perfect, but it's pretty impressive because now all of a sudden our query is neatly combined and just a single prompt actually made it happen. Now, what can I do next, especially since the remove order date one did not fully work? We can just adjust 
the prompt that we sent to AI. But what I wanted to show with this is that you can actually make your work a lot quicker, especially if you want to clean up your code after. And of course, you're going to have to check the results and make sure that the output of the query is exactly as you need it. But once you've checked that, you're good to go. Well, I hope that was helpful. We're going to have more AI types of activities soon. So keep, it, uh, keep a look at the channel and then uh, I'll see you in the next video.